Hi, and welcome to our instructional video that is designed to make you a smarter gambler. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of The American Casino Guide, the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with over $1,000 in casino coupons. If you want to know more about our book, be sure to visit our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. And if you have a smartphone or tablet, be sure to download our free app. Just go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and search for American Casino Guide. In this video, I visit the 2014 Global Gaming Expo in Las Vegas, which is one of the world's largest trade shows for the casino gaming industry. At this show, which is held in late September of each year, gaming manufacturers and suppliers from all over the world display their latest products and technologies to casino executives. It's a great show to attend because visitors can try out all the newest slot machines before they are available to the general public. Plus, there are many celebrity appearances and other fun events. In this segment, I speak with slot machine expert Frank Legato, who is the editor of Global Gaming Business Magazine. He also writes about slot machines for Casino Player, as well as Strictly Slots, and I ask Frank why it is so hard for slot players to win on penny slot machines. Frank, you are one of the foremost experts on slot machines, and uh, one question I wanted to ask you is why is it so hard for slot players to win on penny slot machines? Simple. They are the uh, highest holding, in other words, lowest payback percentage in the house, in the casino. Uh, by far. Uh, if you take a dollar slot machine, uh, it's probably, you're looking at the 95, 96 percent in most uh, casinos in Vegas. Uh, so, and you have to translate that into house edge. With a, a whole percentage of 95 percent means a house edge of 5 percent on a slot machine. That's on the dollar games. Quarter games, 92, 93, you know, so 7 or 8 percent house edge. Penny games, you're giving up usually around 11 percent sometimes as high as 12, 13, or higher. Uh, and uh, some casinos are even uh, uh, setting them at the, at the lowest uh, minimum uh, payback that is uh, required in the state, which, you know, it, it, in uh, Atlantic City, that's uh, 83, 83%. In Nevada, it's uh, 75%. So, you know, you don't know what you're getting with a penny slot machine is basically an arcade game that you're going to lose, lose your money in. Now, now, you say it's 75% is the minimum in uh, Nevada. Nevada. Have you ever seen a game set to return as low as 75%? Uh, I, I haven't. Uh, I, I, not not uh, uh, in, to my knowledge, but you can't tell looking at a machine what it's set. What it's set. They, uh, the manufacturers make them available at uh, seven or eight payback programs for each game, and the casino chooses, chooses one of them. Now, most casinos have a policy. Uh, most casinos in Nevada, have, most casinos anywhere have a policy of uh, payback according to denomination. And in Nevada, uh, you'll find that uh, penny games pay a little bit more, 90, 90%, 91% in the local Las Vegas casinos or in Reno, same way. Uh, in Atlantic City, you're talking uh, pennies are more... Um, 12% hold, in other words, 88%, you know, so you're giving away a 12% house advantage. But people... Well, why do people play the machines if they're, if they're such a low payback percentage? Why do they play them? Because they want a, uh, they want a low buy-in, you know, they can, they can put a $20 bill in and play for a while. Uh, the thing they, they don't realize, and the thing they don't realize is if you play, you have to play maximum uh, credits on a lot of these games to get all the features or to qualify for progressive jackpots. Uh, so you, you might be spending uh, three, 300 credits for, for a maximum bet. That's $3. That's the same as a dollar machine. So you know, if it's payback percentage you're going for, take that $3 and put it in a dollar machine and you know give away a 3 or 4% house advantage if that's what you're going for. Uh, the public is viewing these uh, games more as an arcade experience. And lately, uh, uh, people that uh, write into our, ma our magazines, the magazines I answer letters for, have been saying their money is not lasting a a as long. And uh, the Association of Slot Machine Manufacturers is doing a study right now to uh, find out exactly uh, uh, what this trend means. If people are playing less, 
uh, at slot machines and going to casinos less because of that lower payback percentage. They're doing a, an exhaustive study of their own sales records to see what percentage programs all these casinos have been buying to see if, to, just to verify that fact. But anecdotal evidence, you know, it, it is pretty much verified that, uh, that people's money is not lasting as long as slot machines. Okay, so for penny slot machines players, the reason they're losing is because they're playing the machines that pay back the, the least amount of money in the casino. Right. All right, so what is your advice for the people who like to play penny slot machines for how they can either better their experience or make their money last longer? The game style on penny machines uh, can be found uh, in other denominations. You know, you just have to, uh, you know, you have to have a little bit more of a bankroll to, to, to play, play them. Most of them are, a lot of them are available in multi-denomination units. So look for the multi-denomination units and go up uh, a couple of, you know, go up to the nickel denomination or the dime denomination. That's one way of doing it if you like those, those that style of game. Uh, the other thing they can do is just, you know, play at local Las Vegas casinos, play in Reno, play at places that are known to uh, uh, buy the highest returning programs for all of their games. And that's, that's where they are. They are in local, the Las Vegas, outside of the Strip, and uh, they are, uh, you know, just about anywhere in Reno. All right, well, one last question for you, please, on the penny machines. Now, you were saying before they're making maximum bets. Should a player look at the pay table and decide, say, well, maybe I don't have to make the maximum bet in, in order to be eligible for these bonuses? How would that work? That's what they're doing, though. That's what they're doing. They're... they're they're, they're going onto these machines. That's why they're popular, because people can go take a 20 and just bet the, the, the minimum required to activate all the pay lines, which in most cases is, is you know, basically the game. You know, what you're not getting is you won't qualify for a progressive jackpot, perhaps, or, or some, other, uh, some other special uh, bonus. But they can still play them. And, you know, they can play them, and they're in a casino, and they're getting free drinks, and they're, you know, and, you know, they, they play a little bit, and then they lose their money. Uh, the, the, the thing is that in recent years, since the penny machines have, have exploded in popularity, uh, the casinos are buying more and more of them uh, to the detriment of the higher denominations. They are buying these low denominations, and, uh, you know, as, as evidence is, is, is showing, uh, it's, it's showing up in uh, the, the, the returns to the players. All right, Frank Legato, thank you very much for spending time with us today. Thank you. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.